What is up everyone? Welcome to my Varrock Medium Diary Guide. Only requirements need to complete this are 30 Agility, 36 Crafting, 30 Farming, 40 Fire Making, 10 Herb Lore, 25 Magic, and 25 Thieving. If you are an Iron Man, you will need 49 Magic in order to enchant your Dig Site Pendant. For quests, you need to have completed the Enlightened Journey, A Soul's Bane, The Tree Gnome Village, Gertrude's Cat, The Dig Site, and The Garden of Tranquility. You also need to have completed all four levels of the Stronghold of Security Dungeon to unlock all four emotes. For items, you're going to need 30,105 gold coins, a limper root, one red spider's egg, your Keros ring activated, a dig site pendant. You can get a dig site pendant by activating over at the Varrock Museum, and then you can make your own by casting Enchant Ruby Jewelry on a Ruby Necklace. You will need one Fire Rune, one Law Rune, three Air Rune, 20 mahogany logs you have to bring 20 at a time and you need to have 10 willow logs in order to use the balloon teleport if you've never unlocked the varrock balloon teleport before or one willow log if you have unlocked it you also need one other log in order to teleport somewhere else you need to have these logs with you you can keep them stored at any log stores next to any of the balloons if you have not unlocked any other balloon teleports, you will need a normal log to go to Entrana, and you need to make sure you don't have any combat equipment or weapons. It's a little more restrictive, but it's still doable. We're going to be starting from literally anywhere. Just use your dig site pendants and go to the dig site. Head west. And enter the rift. Climb back out and head northeast. Take the balloon anywhere else and then take the balloon back to Varrock. Head over to the sawmill, buy planks, and make all the mahogany planks. Now just use the four emotes and use the Varrock teleport. Run one lap of the agility course Now head southwest over to the apothecary. Talk to the apothecary. Can you make a potion? And make a strength potion. Now head north over to the castle and head to the back of the castle over to the garden. And pick one white fruit from the tree. And now head to the Grand Exchange. Head over to the Spirit Tree, just northeast of the Grand Exchange. And use it to go literally anywhere. And then go back to the Grand Exchange. And head west. Use the Underwall Tunnel and head southwest. Head over to the Edgeville Dungeon right down here. If you need to use the bank for whatever reason, it's right here in Edgeville. Head to the Northern Tunnel and head over to the Slayer Master. Grab an assignment from Vinaka and now head south. Head east. Pick up the brass key over in the southern room. And head up the ladder. Equip your Keros ring. And exit the door. Now head southeast over to Gertrude's house.
talk to Gertrude? Do you have more kittens? Can I pick my own? And I'll just pick any color. In memory of Bob, we're going to go for the Bob one. And now head southeast over to the Warriors Guild. Just right down here. Now go ahead and enter the Champions Guild. And now to collect your reward, head to the center of Barok. Just southeast of Barok Square, where you see the cages. Talk to Toby. And that is the Varrock Medium Diaries completed. I hope this guide helps you guys. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Wait, before you click off the video, I want to thank all the Motley crew members for the support and helping me make more videos. As well as, I want to let you know that in the description down below, there will be a link to the Discord where you can join our community, get notified on the latest content, giveaways, and contests.